everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm going to call it a four flip card. Really easy to do. So you've got the belly band, which is optional. Just slide that off and you open it up. Now you could have sentiments here, you know, depending on the theme that you're doing. You might have photos if this is going into a mini album. And you open it up and you have your sentiment. And this is on a top folding six by six card. You can see I've got the message in there. But you can pop your gift card here if you want to add a gift card. You could have this as a flip lid piece. You know, there's there's lots of scope with this. And then you just open it up and you can display the belly band next to it there. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely adore these papers. So let me show you how to make it. So the papers I'm using today are from the Soft Romance 12 by 12 paper pad. This was from the works. I brought it not too long ago, so it should be available. And I've just pulled out some old stamps I've got here. Do Crafts Folk Floral. I actually remember I used this from on my very first featured piece that got put into a magazine. So, and I loved that. It was a pyramid gift box. It's actually on this channel. So if I remember, I'll link it. But this is from 2016, but it's got some really nice block images. So I'm going to use those. And I thought some of these would look nice as well. And then I think I'm going to use the Birthday Girl, which is the Dovecraft large sentiments again most of those are still available so I'll link them inside or on the belly band I'm going to have the happy birthday and then I'm going to use maybe this sentiment as well so first of all you want to cut yourself a piece of 11 by 11 cardstock and then you're going to score it two and three quarters on all four sides so just rotate it two and three quarters two and three quarters now if you wanted to make this as a full card then you would have this as 12 by 12 and score at three on all four sides and then just do it exactly the same way that I'm going to do it. But that would be the whole card. This is going to be stuck onto a card blank. So really simple scoring. That's all you need there. And then I'll go through the measurements for the mats and layers while I've got my scoreboard here. So for the inside mat, this is a piece of five and a quarter squared. And then this is five by five squared. And that's what I'm going to stamp my large sentiment on and stamp with those little flowers that I showed you. And then you'll want eight pieces. This is my mat layer, which is two and a half, and it's five and one eighth. I brought it in slightly because we're going to be chopping away lots of score lines, so you'll, it'd be better having this. So yeah, five and one eighth of an inch by two and a half, eight pieces. And then you'll want eight pieces of your pattern paper. I've got four in one print and then four in the other. And these are two and a quarter by four and seven eighths. And then I've got my six by six card blank. So this is the white card blank, which this interlocking piece is going to be stuck onto the front of. But like I said, you may, um, you know, do it slightly differently to me. So that's all the measurements. OK, so first of all, you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then I've just flipped it over. You're going to remove all of the four squares. but You want to remove the score lines. So I'm going to cut to the left of the score line down this part here and just down to that first one and then on here I'm cutting to the right of the score line so you're just removing and that's why I've done that measurement for the mats and layers slightly different because you're cutting into this piece so you'll see there now there's no score line visible at all and you just want to repeat that on all the sides. In fact, if you flip it over this way, you can see your score line even better. So it's probably best to do that. So again, to the left on one side and then to the right on the other. OK, so you'll have something that looks like that and then you can just test all the sides. So just fold one in. Then when you fold another one down, if that doesn't fold down easily, then you've still got too much overhanging here. You've probably got some score line that you've missed. You want this to all be able to fold over quite nicely without it kind of buckling the other piece of cardstock. So you've got all your mats and layers here. So these are all fit nicely now into these sections. So you're going to stick four on the inside. And I'm going to have the floral print inside because this is the, the, the side that's going to be open and displayed because this can all be opened up even when the card's um, you know, standing up. And then I'm going to have this polka dot on the front because the belly band and then more details is going to go on top. So I wanted something that was a bit plainer. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to use my liquid glue to stick my mirrored card piece down. But then when I stick this onto the mirrored card, I'm just going to use my tape runner or a double sided tape, red liner tape. That will stick much better and stay on your mirrored card because it's a non-porous surface the glue's not going to you know penetrate into the cardstock it's just going to sit on top and it's just easy to peel off so I'm going to get all of that stuck down I'm also going to stick the matte layer inside as well and then I can start stamping this one in a moment but you see that's how it's all going to look it looks really pretty
So I'm going to use the pale fig, get that stamped, and then I'm going to pop it on high speed whilst I stamp the inside of the card and also the belly band. I'll give you the measurements for that at the end, but I think this colour is going to match quite nicely to do a couple of layers to it. Yeah, I think that's going to look really nice. So I'm going to get that all done. the stamping done although I might do a little bit more on the belly band I'm just not sure how I'm going to go with that yet but if you do have this paper pad and you've got the harmony inks I use the smoked emerald that gives me the green I just done second and third generation stampings that just means you ink it up stamp and then stamp again and again without re-inking and you just get a slightly you know faded and it's like a drop shadow so I used that color and then I used I tried the plum jam but it was just a bit too pinky but I used the pale fig pink tulip and damson wine so uh yeah if anybody wanted to know that's the colors i've used so i've also popped this piece inside the card so that is five and a quarter squared and that's five and a half squared and again i've just done another little bit there and the sentiment to a lovely friend on your special day wishing you happiness in every way so now I want to add my glue onto the back of this. This is if you're sticking it onto a card. You may want to stick a mat and a layer on the back of this and pop your sentiment area where you write your message. It depends how you're using it. If you're using it as like a gift card holder, like I mentioned at the beginning, then you know you might not feel the need to put it onto this piece. But I'm going to just fold in the sides just so I can get this lined up like so so i'm just going to hold that there for a minute and then i've got this strip here and i'm just going to wrap this around so this is just a piece of a4 length 12 by 12 is fine whatever you've really got you just want to have kind of an equalish amount overhanging they don't need to join don't worry you're going to add your topper to that Okay, so there's the belly band. So I just stamped and then fussy cut a little cluster of the flowers there. And then the oval dies I've used are the Card Making Magic oval nesting dies. And I've used the one, two, three, the fourth and the fifth smallest. I think it looks really nice. And then you just slide your belly band off and then open it up. You could have other things here as well. Some nice, you know, sentiments. You may have some photos. It's entirely up to you. And then you open it up to reveal that lovely message. And then you could have another flip here if you wanted to. So they would see the sentiment, then lift it. And then there's a gift card behind there. Or you could have the gift card in here. So you can see I've got my sentiment. And then the whole thing will stand with that piece open. It does, you might have to just open it a bit more. There we go, because it needs to lean back. I think it's really pretty. Lovely way to show off your pattern papers. Again, you know, depending on who you're giving this to and your theme, you've got a lot of space here to really create something quite special and then it's up to you whether you close those two and then have those and have the belly band across like that or you have it with those down and then the belly band so you can see it i think i like that way so as always thank you for watching today i'll link as much of the product that i can in the description box below and if you've enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel if you just click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload a new tutorial also popping up now will be some more videos so if you want to watch something again i'll try and link something that is similar to this that you can go and watch next take care and i'll see you again soon